Hi, this is James from the Hornball Technical Support Team and this is a short tutorial to show you how to configure priority matrixes. So I'm using the 750 Service Pack 3 client and it's ITSM 3414. Um, this may differ for different versions of um, ITSM and ITSMF but the, um, the actual functionality is still all the same. So um, what we're going to look at here is how to create new impact and urgency uh, items and we're also going to show how to set up um, what priority is actually uh, the end product of a particular urgency and impact then log a call against it. So I'm going to show you where you would then set up your actual matrix um, which is against each SLA so you can see a particular tab here that says priority matrix you'll have a selection of impact levels and a selection of urgency levels as well as priority. So let's say um, I want to set up high impact, high urgency level is my test priority. So you can simply select that, click on add and there we go that's then been added to your list here. So what happens if there's things in here that doesn't really apply and maybe you want to create your own impact and urgency levels uh, you can do so. Um, so I'm going to just simply go into File, Manage Settings and General Settings. Here you have Assessment Levels tab. So you can simply add and delete as you wish. So I'm just going to type in a impact level. Uh, I'm just going to add test to both of them. There we go, so it's added to the list there. So if I go back into my Manage Service Level Agreements and then into the SLA, here now we'll have the option for my test impact and urgency. So I'm going to set that up to be low. So now let's now, let's now log a call against the test SLA and um, let's see if these actually automatically populate the priority based on this impact assessment. So if I open up a log new incident form, I'm just going to enter one of the contacts and select the test SLA. So this is designed to go top to bottom, so if you select the SLA first, then impact urgency, this will populate the priority. So you can see that the priority hasn't automatically populated here because we haven't set up anything for low and low for the impact and urgency. So if I do high and high, we know that should populate as it does our test priority. If I then change that again to test and test, it will change it to low. Now one important thing that you will need to know about this is if you're if you had already logged the call, here you can see um, the impact and urgency level after a call that actually been logged. If you change them here, let's say high and high, you'll see that it hasn't updated the priority. The reason for this is because it has been designed to um, actually update the priority via an update call. So that means that you can actually specify um, against the call the reasons why the priority has changed. And that's updated the priority. So that's all around impact and urgency. It's quite easy to um, set up and set up the matrixes. You just need to make sure that um, if you have got several uh, SLAs that you uh, set up on each. Um, it's not mandatory, so you don't need to set up impact and urgency um, matrixes. It's just uh, up to yourselves on how you want to manage your calls incoming and how you prioritise them. So if any questions, uh, please let me know.